Hello again, and welcome back to the MSAG's COVID-19 series. In today's lesson, we're going to dive into the impact that the COVID-19 pandemic has had on a few different patient groups, specifically cancer patients, people over 60 years old, and people in care homes. If you'd like an overview of COVID-19, or to see our breakdown of the UK government's response, please check out our previous videos. Before we begin, pause the video for a minute and try to answer this question. How has the COVID-19 pandemic affected cancer patients? Cancer is a disease caused by changes to your DNA. These changes make certain cells divide uncontrollably and spread into surrounding tissues. In 2015, it was estimated that 2.5 million people in the UK were living with cancer, and an estimated 360,000 people in the UK are diagnosed with cancer every year. From 2016 to 2018, there were approximately 165,000 cancer deaths each year in the UK. The first issue for patients with cancer is that they're at an increased risk from COVID-19. This is because cancer and its treatment can weaken your immune system and reduce your ability to fight infections, such as COVID-19. During the pandemic, doctors have had to weigh up the benefits of chemotherapy with the risk of bringing cancer patients who have a weakened immune system, into a hospital for treatment, risking that they may catch COVID-19. The second issue for patients with cancer is that they are classed as extremely clinically vulnerable and were asked to shield and stay indoors. A cancer diagnosis is often a life-changing experience and is associated with higher levels of anxiety, distress, and depression. A cancer diagnosis is never easy but having the support of family and friends, as well as charity support groups, can help these patients to cope better. Although it's far from ideal, charities such as Macmillan Cancer Support are still providing extensive support to patients suffering from cancer, both virtually and in person, with the proper COVID-19 precautions. Another issue is the diagnosis and treatment of cancer during the pandemic. The British Medical Association estimates that in England, during April, May, and June of 2020, there were between 274,000 and 286,000 fewer urgent cancer referrals. It also estimates that there were between 20,800 and 25,900 fewer patients starting first cancer treatments following a decision to treat, and between 12,000 to 15,000 fewer patients starting first cancer treatments following an urgent GP referral. The diagnosis and treatment of cancers can be highly time-dependent, and delays in treatment could have serious harmful consequences for patients. A report by the Macmillan Charity, a large cancer support charity in the UK, stated that the charity is deeply worried that thousands of people who have cancer have not yet been diagnosed, either because they're afraid of visiting their GP, or because they have to wait too long for investigative tests. There are also concerns that patients who already have a cancer diagnosis have had delays in the start of crucial follow-up scans, tests, and treatments. This report estimates that across the UK, there are around 50,000 missing diagnoses of cancer as of October 2020. Now let's take a look at the impact on people over the age of 60. This is a graph from the Age UK charity, produced from data by the UK government up to the 29th of May 2020. At that point, 4 in 5 people who have died from COVID-19 were aged 70 or over. This graph shows the number of deaths for a range of age groups from COVID-19 for each 1,000 people. In the 60 to 69 age group, fewer than 1 in 1,000 people have died from COVID-19. Age 90 and over, it's 18 in every 1,000 people. Males also have a higher risk of death from COVID-19 than females in every age group. This graph shows data from the Intensive Care National Audit and Research Center. The graph shows the survival rate of patients in critical care with COVID-19 per age group. Blue represents patients who were discharged alive, and orange represents patients who died in critical care. For patients aged 50 or less, one out of every five patients died. But for patients aged 70 and over, three out of every five patients died. All of this data shows us that there's substantial evidence that the older you are, the more likely you are to die from COVID-19. The increased risks from COVID-19 appear to start at age 50 and upwards. Age is an important consideration in assessing risk from COVID-19, 
But remember that age is not the only factor that should be considered. Gender, ethnicity, and pre-existing medical conditions are also known to increase risk from COVID-19. There was an opinions and lifestyle survey that looked at the social impact that the COVID-19 pandemic has had on older people in the UK. This data was from the 3rd of April to the 10th of May 2020. The survey found that 64% said that their main concern was being unable to make plans in general. 53% were concerned about personal travel plans, such as holidays, and 51% were concerned about their own well-being. Of those who were concerned about their well-being, 70% were worried about the future. 54% were feeling stressed or anxious, and 43.3% were feeling bored. This survey also looked at how older people were coping. The main coping mechanism that was reported was keeping in touch with family and friends remotely. Other coping mechanisms included gardening, reading, and exercising. Now let's look at the kind of impact that the COVID-19 pandemic has had on care homes. A care home is a facility that provides accommodation and care for elderly and disabled people. A study in the Lancet Medical Journal found that care homes in England and Wales became hotspots of the COVID-19 pandemic. The UK Office for National Statistics reported that there were 19,394 deaths from COVID-19 in care homes across England and Wales between the 2nd of March and the 12th of June 2020. This accounted for 29.3% of all deaths of care home residents. This graph shows the age-specific mortality rates for deaths of care home residents and non-care home residents involving COVID-19 per 100,000 population, from the 2nd of March to the 12th of June 2020. Residents were more likely to die than people of the same age who are non-care home residents. Pause the video for a moment and jot down some ideas about why you think that care homes have been so badly affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Care homes have been badly hit by COVID-19. And the first reason for this is that care home residents are often vulnerable or frail individuals. People in care homes are often in their 80s and 90s and are often living with underlying health conditions. Increased age and underlying health conditions make care home residents especially vulnerable to serious consequences if they catch COVID-19. The second reason care homes have been badly hit is because of the very nature of care homes. Care homes have a lot of residents and staff who are used to interacting and living with one another. Staff often have to provide personal care to residents, requiring them to come into close contact and risking the spread of the virus. The staff usually does not live in the care home themselves, so they also risk spreading COVID-19 every time they leave the home and come back into the home. The third reason for care homes being badly affected by COVID-19 was an initial lack of personal protective equipment and testing during the first few months of the pandemic. These issues are now largely sorted, and as of the 1st of February 2021, a COVID-19 vaccine has been offered to all older residents at eligible care homes in England. It's hoped that the increased PPE, testing, and vaccinations will help end the COVID-19 care home crisis. That concludes this lesson. We hope that you now have a better understanding of the impact that the COVID-19 pandemic has had on people with cancer, people over 60, and people in care homes. In our next video, we'll look at the impact that this pandemic has had on another significant group, ethnic minorities in the UK. We'll see you in the next video.